whole bunch. So what we're doing here right now is we're going around and looking for potato bugs, right? Yeah, with the like eggs. Basically the eggs for the potato bugs. So we're going around to all these plants. We're finding any little orange spots that are underneath the leaves and then uh, smashing them or uh, ripping the leaves off. So catching these guys pretty early on can make a big difference on how much of a struggle you have. Last year we missed, just missed the hatch. We almost paid the price for it. They really did a number on our potatoes, but we ended up getting things back and checked. They can fly some pretty good distance as well, so you wanna go out and check pretty often and look for any telltale signs of them showing up. So one thing you can do to help prevent them from showing up is put in a couple different varieties of plants that deter them. Uh, something like bush beans, cilantro, coriander, those are all items that will help deter them. Also, anything that brings in ladybugs. Ladybugs love snacking on them. So things like dills, marigolds. Marigolds are also great because they help deter deer. finding them. I've read quite a bit about people having great luck with Denaceous Earth or sometimes called DE. Because it's not a chemical, it doesn't linger at all. So every time it rains, you got to go back and reapply it. Basically sprinkle it around the plants and on the ground. We haven't had the most luck using that. Uh, a lot of times the eggs all show up on the bottom and it doesn't really seem to stick up there very well. Uh, so that's why I think it's really important to go around and just kind of smash those eggs and, and keep an eye out for sort of that yellowish, orangish uh, eggs sit on the bottom. I'm gonna smash it. I thought there was another one. So you gotta like look at the entire thing because they're on the bottom. Sorry, I'm on my face. So one other natural remedy is something called neem oil. We've had to use this in the past. It naturally comes from some trees, from my understanding, over in Asia. Uh, basically, you get the oil, you load it up in a sprayer, and you spray your plants down, and it really does work really well. We had one year, things really got out of control, and that helped us get things back in check and still manage to get a decent harvest out at the end of the year. I do want to leave one little stipulation with that. I would probably recommend using it as a last resort. It is something that is natural, but it also deters um, some of the good beneficial bugs that you do want in your garden. So. That's why I would recommend sort of using it as a last resort. Uh, I think one of the big key takeaways with uh, potato beetles is really catching stuff early on. If you can catch the beetle before it even lays its eggs. If you see any signs, start combing through all those plants and uh, making sure you dispose of those eggs. Either rip those leaves off and get rid of them or smash them. And uh, hopefully you shouldn't have any more problems. And then just kind of monitoring things, making sure no new bugs moved in or, or didn't miss something in the first run through your potatoes. So we were out weeding the garden a little bit tonight and checking up on the potatoes and saw a couple of signs there and thought maybe this could help someone else out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.